and we got these are established hives. I'm going to take a package and I'm going to drop it right in here. Dump the package today. I'm going to go in three days. If you're more experienced, you can direct release in a day and a half. Once this queen hatches out, I see some eggs. She's verified she's laying. I pull a frame of brood that I open up and look at. The bees are actually hatching in front of me. I put that into here. Come to this one, put one. Come to this one, put one. I got three frames of brood. Pull a frame of honey. Come over for this one, pull a frame of pollen. Wait 24 hours, sell it. And none of these hives lost anything. They're building at three to 5,000 bees a day. I made a nuke, took my money, and doubled it. Five to seven days. That's how you make money. Buy me. That is a package. And the queen, that's baited. If you know what you're doing, you can descent the queen, descent these, put those bees with that package, and do it. But it's advanced things. Yes? Define descent. When I put, uh, when I build a hive out, I want to take the, I want to make everything smell the same. So I sm smoke the crap out of the bees. And I could take a frame here and put it in with a walking queen here and frame here and put it in there and smoke them. Or if you don't want to smoke them too much, Smoke it good. <laughs> we well, can't hardly breathe. Or you can take a, a squirt gun, uh, sugar water, a little bit of vanilla. Spray them all down. They all smell the same. They're all going to get along. No fighting. That's how you make money. Anybody got any questions on that? It, it's too simple? Don't work? Make it harder. Make it harder? <laughs> <laughs> well, People make everything too hard, and I'm trying over the years to show people anybody can make money. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Yes? We watched your video and switched away from plastic frames. Uh-huh. And we're putting with wax in the yeah. wired wax, and I'm putting the fishing line and whatnot. Why? The fishing line? Yeah. So it don't fall out when you turn moving. Put a bobby pin in. I use the bobby pin. Well, it ain't going to fall out on you. The only reason, well, first of all, if you use vertical wire, they're going to make the best queen cells over the wire. I've never seen a, fa a failure. So you're going to have to cut up with the cutters. That's why I use a starter strip. And we used to use fishing line because you can take a steak knife and you can cut it without destroying everything. We don't put fishing line in now. Time. We used the fishing line because we shipped. It helps support the, the frame. Mm -hmm. A start. Well, stop and think about it. When they go to the tree, they don't stop at day dance and say, "I need some foundations, some lids, and some bottoms." They take everything and build it. Keep it as natural as possible. I mean, it, it can't get any simpler. People make it hard. If it wasn't for beekeepers, we'd be overrun with bees because there's too many gimmicks, gadgets out there. When they come out with queen catchers which is a ponytail clip. More queens was decapitated and then the pop seal pusher to mark your queens. They got blind queens going in high with all paint everywhere. Keep it as simple as possible. We got any questions? Yes. Sir. You're buying a package. Yeah. Whatever you buy it at. You know, I'm not selling packages no, here. You're yeah. Spending that money. Yeah. And now you're taking these frames from these other. Right. Times, right. And you make another You look. How much you make after you say it's I can well if you're buying a package and you know people you can buy them from ninety dollars up. It depends on your area. I'm selling packages for ninety dollars to people that's turning around and Steve Chen took them to New York, tripled his money and got a third of them for free. I mean, it's a supply and demand. That's what I'm saying. You think about bees with the thing nationwide that lost so many bees colony collapse, absconding. There's such a shortage. I don't think I'm going to fill a lot of stuff next year. So if you want to get in the bees and you have good luck with them now, invest now. Do it for a hobby. You know, if you, if you love it, you'll make money. If you're doing it for make money and that's your only reason, leave your money in the bank. Because you're not going to get out there and work them on a bad day. 
I'm going to go golfing or go to the bar and have a drink or whatever. But I'm trying to show you the easiest possible way. There's no easier. If you learn to shake packages, we take our double deeps in South Georgia and we can pull two packages at a time per hive three times a week. So if we pull $200 a day, go back in three days and pull another 200, even that much, how high would you stack it for honey? I mean, Kelly's been down there. He's watched my son work. I mean, I'm not spoofing anybody. It's hard work. Hard work. Don't mind doing the work. You can do it. Hey, Don, if you're introducing a queen, mm -hmm. do, you, do, you send, or do you send the, the, the colony before you enter? How do you mean introducing a queen? A virgin queen? A mated queen? Or what? Queen. To what? An established hive? Uh, established hive. I would leave the corking uh, in the other end, take it out of the candy end, and let them come out by themselves. Don't put no nail through it. Okay. But you wouldn't be sent to... No, there's no need to, because... Okay. The candy acts like a time release door. Okay. And the old beekeepers had a bad habit of putting nails through it. Today's queens are not the queens that we produced in the 70s and 80s. These queens are more of a hybrid. They're very touchy, but once they get established, they go gangbusters. Putting the nail through that gets the queen out too quick. So you have to have them accept it. But now, virgin queen? I've had a frame with three and four virgins on it. Pick them up, walk over to clean this hive, and let them walk in. <coughs> yes? Is there a point at which it is not released that you were standing the room? All right. If you bought a package and you had it in transit for two days, it's a good thing you could probably direct release it. If you've got some comb that's straw, if you put them on new comb, and I'm not a top bar person, because top bars are more difficult. If there's no comb and you direct release like that, that queen in 24 hours can leave because she's already slimmed down. She ain't been laying eggs. If you leave it in the cage and she comes out and then they have time to build a comb, she'll have something to lay on. Okay?